To be a bullpup means you're in relationship. When you walk into the doors of this place, whether it's as a freshman student or a parent of a student, you are invited into a community. To be a bullpup is to have a community that celebrates together. I walk through the hallways and I can really feel like I found my place. Being here, you know, walking the halls, there's just a feeling about it. I love the community, I love the people, I love coming to this chapel. When it's time for us to give peace, everyone's hugging. It's like 10 minutes of people turning around and you're hugging your friends, your acquaintances, new people, you're meeting new people. You almost like feel like you know the teachers on like a personal level. You walk through the halls and you see everybody and it's, you know, you can just smile and feel confident. You feel the togetherness and the community of prep. It's a sense that you can't really describe and they, they talk about it a lot, like the hum of the Holy Spirit. The whole church is filled to the back doors and it's just an amazing experience to hear all of your classmates singing with you. To be a pull-pup is to be a part of a community, to be in a relationship, and to care about the people that are around you. Whether it's at Mass on Thursdays, whether it's at the reunions where we had hundreds of classmates come together, whether it's at the Hall of Fame where you see 30 football players who played in a football game 40 years ago come together, it is a community. Gonzaga Prep is the most amazing community in Spokane. When you're a bullpup here, you're just part of a community and a family and everybody cares for each other. This isn't a normal community. It's not normal for you to go to a high school and have administrators doors wide open for any kind of conversation. We have something that is just so much greater and so much more powerful than you'll find anywhere else. You go through your four years at Gonzaga Prep, you realize how it is to be uh, a kind and loving person and a person who strives for greatness and success, and then you can really project it out to the rest of the world. You're, you're trying to create a world where you know kids don't feel judged, they feel supported, and they feel like they can do anything. And over the course of four years, I think it really makes a difference in, in a kid's life and in their outlook and in their personality. Fair Share creates a place where there is really a variety of people coming from lots of different backgrounds. Much of our great success in my 30 years here uh, ties to students who are here because Fair Share is a part of our school. It has created this really unique environment where you truly have economic diversity at our school. It provides opportunities for students who want a private education but could not otherwise afford it. It brings a different perspective and different life to the table and I, I really I really appreciate everything that it's done and I appreciate all the people that have the opportunity to be here. To exclude those who maybe can't come here just because of finances just is, is unjust and not right. And so Prep corrected that and um, here we are today and I love the kids my kids are in class with and who they're getting to know and be with and learn from. It's very special that we have this fair share program to include so many people in our community that otherwise would not be able to come here. It, it just is hard to think of the number of students who wouldn't be here if there was no fair share. So six in 10 receive fair share. And so the fact that there would only be about 40% of the students that would be on campus now, that to me is wild. Uh, it, it would just be so different. If you walk over through Jesuit Hall and you look at the graduating classes and all those people standing together in their graduation photos, how drastically different those photos would look without the fair share kids. And really, the whole makeup of the school is different. It's not only granting people the opportunity to come to such an amazing school, but it also helps all of us to see more diverse backgrounds. A fair share produces really an environment and a place where we're hitting on all different spectrums of life and that's informative and that's formative. It forms uh, a better understanding of the world around us.
What Fair Share brings to us is we can have a bigger school. We can compete at a 4A level for our sports. We can offer fine arts and um, debate and all of these things that if we weren't as big as we are, we couldn't compete at the highest level. And Fair Share gives us that. It was really evident to me early on what an opportunity it was. And 30 years later, I see the results of that opportunity. If it wasn't for Fair Share, I would not have been able to be um, a student here at Gonzaga Prep. I graduated in 2011 and just absolutely loved my experience here. I would not be where I am today without the education that I received here. The fact that it works is a testament to uh, a lot of people who are sacrificing. Our benefactors, in terms of the amount that they support our school, and then the sacrifice of, of families. There, there's a lot of people who are contributing to the success of, of Fair Share uh, with uh, different levels of their own personal sacrifice. They are truly amazing students that you are investing in. They are our future. They are our gifts that we are giving to the Spokane community. Thank you to everyone who gives to Gonzaga Prep. There are students who need your help, and we cannot exist without the help of the people who know how important this mission is. Thank you so much for everything you do for our school, for creating an environment where diversity and love can flourish and where we can create more people who will go out into the world and make a change. Whether you see it or not, it has a huge impact on our day-to-day -day lives here at PrEP. Thank you so much for your generous gifts, your willingness to support the mission of Gonzaga PrEP. Thank you everyone for giving back to PrEP and uh, making our community and our world a better place. After 30 years of being at Gonzaga PrEP, I realize how important your giving is to our school. So thank you very much for uh, the past 30 years and beyond and all that you've given. We can together create an amazing community here in Spokane. Bullpups are uh, a really important part of Spokane for sure and even beyond. To be a bullpup means to be a person foreign with others and to be religiously alive. The world needs bullpups. We need people who are willing to give back to others, regardless of what they can receive in return. The leaders in our community are often bullpups. Those giving back and servicing our community are often bullpups. Can you imagine a world without bullpups? I think this Spokane would look a lot different. I think that our region would look a lot different. And you know, given some of the amazing things some of our graduates have done, I think the world would look a lot different. The colleges I've heard back from, they want prep students. I really believe in this mission, and I believe in Fair Share. I believe in what Fair Share has done for this school and what Gonzaga Prep does for our community as a whole. When you come to Gonzaga Prep, uh, you come in as acquaintances, and then you leave as family. The world needs bullpups. The world also needs bullpups to give. And it doesn't matter if you went here, it doesn't matter if your kids went here, it doesn't matter if you're just a friend. If you give, you're a bullpup, so please give. <laughs>